Good freaking Tuesday morning, baby. It is back from Mark Watch. I mean, if anybody has this uh, Dragon Maid Field Center over here from Amanda LaPalm, I am trying to acquire one of these. All right. I've been looking, I've been asking around, and nobody has reached out to me. So if you got one of these, let me know. All right. I'd appreciate it. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on more cool freaking sweet market watch content and down below you're gonna find the blazing vortex winner from the 85k questions so without further ado let's dig on into that thing that you all come to know and love on tuesday morning called market watch shall we all right market watch goodies the pre-order for the limited edition zodiac bundle still available these are 125 i know it's a little bit out of people's price range but i just wanted to show this off these pieces are very beautiful uh, this mat is freaking gorgeous the carrying box th this is amazing the little tiger mortar is fine eh, the dice look good thick mommy uh field center is very 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 nice this whole little bundle bundle is worth it from amanda so if you're interested in acquiring this bundle, it's still up uh, on her, the Amanda Palm art website. You guys can check that out and see if this is something that might interest you or might not. All right, semantics. I don't know how many of you guys have been paying attention to this, but uh, it finally happened. Uh, Dragoon is going terminal, as they would say. And, ah, man, some people said that these were 48 bucks. Or you're 46, 47, 47. You're basically heading on up to the $48 range at this point. It doesn't surprise me to see that Dragoon is finally reversing course. A lot of people are kind of starting to realize that this card is really nuts, this format. Um, for the inclusion of some bricks in your deck, you get this massive powerhouse. And, you know, Snapmaster 5000. Oh, attack. Or snap, snap, attack directly. All right, hey, I just did 8,000 damage to you for top decking a red eyes fusion or verte and out oh speaking of <laughs> verte you guys know the vertes are 34 dollars all right literally oh we have a stray one here for 31 34 34 35 35 uh i don't i i just recently blinked and all of a sudden vertes and dragoons started moving i don't think there's anything else even over here from dual overload that Imperm is the other closest thing at like 24 bucks. Halks are down to 20s. Relinquish animas are like 11 bucks. Union carriers are, Union carriers are on the reverse too. Actually, and Sleens are like 11 bucks. Hmm. Megatons. Anything happening back here? But not. <laughs> Extraps 24 bucks. That's interesting. IPs. Oh yeah, IPs are 12s. Borlet Savages are eights. World Legacy Guard Dragons are six bucks. Um, yeah, that's your tens. It's literally the first page. Nice disappointment, by the way. All right, this is pretty cool, actually. Alti terraformings are seventy-five freaking dollars. You can buy a light play here for sixty-nine bucks, but uh, <laughs> good luck. So much money for a nice shiny alti piece of cardboard. I own three of these because I used to play the card multiples. All right, <clears throat> Full Metal Flows Alcahest. So we are on the the clasp. And that's the word I want to use here. We're on the verge of the release of Blazing Vortex, which means that Metal Foe's support is going to be pushing out at a much larger number. As of making this video, a few people were talking about Alcahest being something to look at. Uh, still 88 copies available. I do unfortunately think that without Electromite, though, that this archetype is going to kind of fall on its face. As much as I want to be positive here and go, hey, you know, you should probably pick up your Metal Foe stuff. I, there was a time and a place for that. Uh, I think any real value to be made from this has pretty much been gone. All right, so just kind of keep an eye on some of this Metal Foes stuff over time with the release of the new Pendulum Bedeck. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, evidently, a Dusted Gold and Malicious Bane got bought out again. And I say this every single time because I'm always like, look at this. I'll just buy the German copies for 78 bucks. English copies are 120s. As a player playing this game, I have absolutely no reason not to buy the German copy here. I mean, besides I can't read it, all right? Why, why get the English copy when I can just get the foreign copy up here? That's where I'm standing on this. Same thing here with the Malicious Bane. The Malicious Bane's also got a, bought out again. With this all being said, though, once again, why would I, why would I spend 
90 some bucks on an American copy when I can just spend 60 bucks and get the foreign copy for the exact same thing. So that's kind of where I sit right now on this little thing. It's like, yeah, it's cool that the English copies are getting bought out, but from a player standpoint, the Unlim copy does the exact same thing as the first, uh, the foreign copy. So do with that info with what you will, but it's interesting that these two continuously get targeted. You know, we have a reprint of this probably up on the block for Legendary Duel Season 3. I know a lot of players know that, but for the price to keep on do, 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 like, hmm, it's not a very good one to pick up. Hey, look, Snakes Reigns. I see we have a $6 copy here. We do know that this card's probably going to get reprinted in Ancient Guardians, I, if the card truly does interact with the archetype, but seven bucks so many of these on the market by the way good news is they are cheaper um bad news is this card there's no way this card doesn't get a reprint in ancient guardians if they actually just don't reprint this in ancient guardians and this card interacts with the archetype dumbest decision of konami 2020 all right <laughs> excuse me 2020 part two all right scrapyard these have definitely calmed down these were so much more. These are nine bucks right now. I know the whole little scrap dinosaur thing. I know there's a lot of hype going on right now for it. And I don't disagree. I think it's kind of cute with what you can do with the new engine for the deck. Um, it opens up more doors. Access to the scrap recycler it is a good thing, all right? Uh, also, you can search for it off a of fossil dig, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I don't think that it's busted. I think more engines being available is a good thing. So with that knowledge in mind, should you go be picking up your scrapyards? If you think that the engine is going to be relevant by the time that we get it in May, then I would say yes. I would say go for it. But as of making this video, I don't know. I don't really think so. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see. All right. Next up, we got Prank Kids. All right. So I've said this multiple times too. I think that this deck in any event where time exists, this deck is a monster. All right, this deck gates people or gatekeepers people, and ruins days. With that knowledge being said, though, should you pick it up with these price tags, I I wouldn't be opposed to that. All right, forty or yeah, forty five bucks for a play set of these is really good. All right, and yeah, sure, like these are fives, and then some of this little stuff. But you can probably get a package deal for a deck online. Like, there's no way you couldn't actually kind of stinks that these are actually dollars. These are actually money, too. Huh. Weird, champ. All right. All right. Sure, 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 sure. All right, next up. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just realized. Hey, look, $410. $1,200, by the way. That's two stimmy checks. And you could buy a place out of those. 320s, sure. Uh, droplets, 100 plus. Talents, 100 plus. And hey, these actually went down. These are 76 now. I thought they were pushing like 80. Hmm. Ice Dragon's Prisons are 42 now. Schisms are 26 bucks. Yep. These, uh, these have reached astronomical numbers. Ecclesia's 21, 22 bucks. Uh, Chaos Rulers, these are actually going crazy. These are 16 bucks now. This card is really good, by the way. This is one of the best synchros we've ever had in the game. There's Revolution Dragon, Albaz, Trucking Along, 10. So overall, yeah, there's still a lot of value to be had in this set. Yeah, it's it's the best set in, like, two years. Let's be honest. This set just keeps on giving. Especially now that Schism has reached this value. It's so much value, man. Uh, Pascalis. This is from, I guess. Yeah, don't you guys love when cards for semi-irrelevant archetypes... Uh, just hit the the crazy meter. Like this is a lot of money for no reason. All right, for a freaking super air. So that's a uh, it's kind of something to note. I guess actually had some bangers actually in it, which is man, lightning storms are. All, you guys remember when lightning storm was a hundred plus? Right? You guys remember hundred dollars? By the way, rose is fourteen bucks. Hey, look, Ignister Island. <laughs> back down to this deck is kind of fun actually like i kind of want to there's a combo where you can end on like dark fluid and a bunch of other stuff Ooh, these are still six bucks yeah these calm down that's good actually 
Fion Wall Dragon. It's actually been a little while since I've looked at this. This is actually what I came here for. Dark Fluid. 116 copies. Reprint the Megatons. Hmm. These are worth nothing. <laughs> is this what Worthless looks like? Yikes. Meanwhile, Firewall Dragons. Oh, these are... This card's coming back off of a ban list. I'm just saying. Baomong. Do you guys know that this is level 4 Synchro? I don't even remember what he does. This card is destroyed by Carfang, Synth of Graveyard. You can target one level for a lower monster Graveyard, except this card is special than that target. These are actually seven bucks, and I don't know why. kind of feel like I missed something with this one, but... All right. Oh, boy. Hmm. Still 70 bucks. Still 70 bucks. Still 60 bucks. Oh, these have officially reached 60 bucks. You guys remember when these were 45s, right? I remember. Renonas are still on expensive status. Oh boy, so they're at 43 right now. I would pay attention to this. So here's here's where we stand right now on the release yesterday. Ben 10 is probably going to get banned, all right? And then we'll have the new Exceed Monster come into play for Drytron. I think that the new card is absurd, and I'm surprised they made that. We, we talked about that video yesterday, but just keep an eye on Nova right now. They are 40 bucks still, all right? Hmm. Quadrantis, 24 bucks. I'd kind of look at some of these. I'd kind of look at these two, possibly, for value. All right, uh, Ghost Spells. I just wanted to point out that lower value Ghost Spells are... These are popping. These are four bucks. Threes. I would pay attention to some of these lower Ghost Spells, because I've been moving a lot of these. All right, yeah, they all say two bucks, but they are disappearing off of the market. Luster Dragon from Magician's Force. Hmm, these are really on buyout. Who would do this? First editions are 50 bucks. Jigga yikes. Number 90. Huh, these are 15. Interesting. I didn't actually know these were popping. Archfiend eccentric first editions. I haven't also looked at these in a hot while either. Uh, these are 18 bucks. 19 bucks? 19. All right. Atlantean dragoons. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Dragoon's Man is at one, uh, 100 and then on to 104. All right, I got you. Wizard Buster Destruction Sword. The Megaton versions are $3. Why? I, I don't know. Silent Magicians are $46 now. I also don't understand this. Thank you, Rivals of the Pharaoh. Paleozoic Candinas are 10 bucks as well? Okay. Marnie... Also is on buyout status here. These are ninety-one dollars, on up to one hundred. The rainbow copies are at one hundred right now. All right, excuse me, at eighty. What a trippy time to be alive. Elemental Mistress Doriato. Interesting, interesting. Sixteen, seventeen bucks. Huh. Well, uh, one nobody's gonna pay that man. Uh, that's all I got for Market Watch today, guys. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about today's market. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more stuff. All right, guys. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanCole 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by MCO40. And... If you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.